is a serious, highly contagious disease caused by the bacterium Pasteurella multicida in a range of avian species including chickens, turkeys, and waterfowl, increasing order of susceptibility. It is seen worldwide and was one of the first infectious diseases to be recognized by Louis Pasteur in 1880. The disease can range from acute septicemia to chronic and localized infections and the morbidity and mortality may be up to 100%. The route of infection is oral or nasal with transmission via nasal exudate feces, contaminated soil, equipment, and people. The incubation period is usually 5 to 8 days. The bacterium is easily destroyed by environmental factors and disinfectants, but may persist for prolonged periods in soil. Reservoirs of infection may be present in other species such as rodents, cats, and possibly pigs. Predisposing factors include high density and concurrent infections such as respiratory viruses. Signs Dejection Ruffled feathers Loss of appetite Diarrhea Coughing Nasal, ocular and oral discharge Swollen and cyanotic wattles and face Sudden death Swollen joints, lameness, post mortem lesions, sometimes none, or limited to hemorrhages at few sites. Enteritis, yolk peritonitis, focal hepatitis, purulent pneumonia, especially turkeys, cellulitis of face and wattles, purulent arthritis. Lungs with a consolidated pink cooked appearance in turkeys. Diagnosis. Impression smears, isolation, aerobic culture on tryptychase soy or blood agar yields colonies up to 3 mm in 24 hours. No growth on McConkie, confirmed with biochemical tests. Differentiate from erysipelas septicomic viral and other bacterial diseases. Treatment. Foul cholera can be treated with a variety of drugs including alphanimids, tetracyclines, erythromycin, streptomycin and penicillin. The disease often recurs after medication has stopped, so follow-up may be necessary. Supportive care. Isolate the bird from the flock and place in a safe, comfortable, warm location, your own chicken intensive care unit, with easy access to water and food. Limit stress. Call your veterinarian. Oxytracycline. 5 mg per kg, subcutaneous, intramuscular, every 12 to 24 hours or 2,500 mg per liter drinking water and 2,500 mg per kg feed. Must be given simultaneously in both feed and water to be effective. Do not use outdated medication, because it becomes nephrotoxic. Do not give at the same time as giving products or food containing aluminium, calcium, magnesium, or iron as it will reduce or alter absorption of the drug. Norfluxacid, 8 to 10 mg per kg, by oral, every 24 hours, or 100 mg slash L drinking water for 5 days. Not approved by the FDA for use in food producing birds. Tylosin, 15 to 30 mg per kg, intramuscular, every 6 to 12 hours or medicate with 250 mg tylosin per gallon and drink in water for 3 to 10 days. 
followed by 40 to 100 grams tylosin per ton of complete feed for 2 to 6 weeks. Sulfamethazine. 20 to 50 mg per kg intramuscular every 12 to 24 hours. May be nephrotoxic or neurotoxic. Penicillin. 50,000 per kg in. Intramuscular, resin vet. Each GM powder contains erythromycin theosinetine 180 mg sulfadiazine BP 150 mg trimethoprim BP 30 mg 0.5 to 1.0 grams per liter of drinking water for 3 to 5 consecutive days. The medicated water should be freshly prepared each day and the birds must not be allowed any excess water during treatment through the medicated water. Or as directed by the registered veterinary physician. Nephrocare liquid. Each ml contains. Nephromodulators, sodium fluoride, butyric acid with amino nitrogen in a fortified base. 500 grams to 1 kilogram per ton of feed. Liquid, 1 to 2 milliliters per liter water for 5 to 7 days. Prevention. Good managemental practices such as sanitation, avoiding wet litter or soil and moldy or dusty feeds, providing adequate ventilation and disinfecting feed and water lines should be implemented to prevent and control the disease. At 8 and 12 weeks, live oral vaccine at 6 weeks.